sponsored by Vigorade from uh, Crystal Palace. Fight Star Championship 20. The time now for three rounds in the welterweight division. We introduce first the blue corner. His debut as an amateur and representing great British top team. Introducing Glenn Coburn. And his opponent in the red corner. His debut as well as an amateur representing GSJSRA. Introducing Manra Singh. And the action begins. Your referee in charge, Sam Amidi. Welterweight action up next. Glenn Coburn from Great Britain top team. His opponent, Maraj Singh from JSRA. And Glenn is in the blue corner. And Maraj in the red. We see Ashley Grimshaw and Brad Pickett in the corner of Glenn from the Great Britain top team. And you'd assume that with those two in the corner, Colburn's going to instantly close in on a body lock and look to get these things to the ground. A wealth of experience in the corner of Glenn as he fights on the outside. Eats a knee, however. And Singh's doing a really good job. He's trying to fight for that head control and then push Glenn up to where he's a bit more postured. Outside trip here from Glenn. Manraj able to shake that off with the step. And as you said, Nick, you're very, very impressed with Manraj's ability to separate here in the clinch. And Singh did a really good job as he was coming in for that shot. He not only was blocking, but he was pushing the leg away to try to get his hips back. But as I say that, Glenn was shot right in on that double, was able to get the takedown. It's largely due to the kick that Manraj threw. It, it did sink in. The crowd responded, but he's given up the takedown and now he gives up side control. As you had said in the first or second fight, I can't remember which one it was. It's amazing when you're going up against a grappler and you'll still throw a kick. And both these athletes making their amateur debut. So they learn an experience for both. Oh, the mount here. Manraj has got to work these bucks and hip escapes. Yeah, and Glenn was smart because he went knee on belly. He slid it across and he's being very calm. I can hear Ashley telling him exactly what he should be doing and he's listening to it and responding. It's always great when you see an amateur fighter making their debut, actual listen to the coach and respond to him. Glenn in the top position here. Man Rogers got to think about escapes. Well, at this point, we've not seen too many strikes from the top position for Glenn. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Sings at least hasn't taken any real damage yet. So it's just a grappling competition. But as I say that, seems like every time I start saying something. The commentator curse. He's got an extra cornerman here. Oh! Enter the triangle here, Nick. This looks very tight. He's going to reach up and try and secure with the shin. Oh, he gets the figure four. This looks like he's tight. He's passed the arm across now. And Singh's got to look to bring his hips in and posture straight up. This is close to being finished. Oh, it is. Tap. Beautiful work from Glenn from Great Britain top team securing the triangle in the scramble. Again, the squeeze and forcing the tap. Beautiful work. And if you look, what Glenn did to set it up, he was able to, as soon as he got swept, he threw up that triangle. So he knew he wasn't in a bad position. So it was just like grappling in the room. That's all it was for him. Because you could see the way that his hips went and everything else. He just went right into that triangle. And here we see the finish. I, one of the things is I, I noticed that seeing he, his whole body movement went down to where it kind of looked like, okay, is he going out? Is he going out? And then he went, nope, I'm not going to go out. I'd rather tap. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for both our warriors this evening. This contest came to a halt two minutes, 36 seconds into the first round. 
Declaring your winner by submission with a triangle choke, Glenn Coburn.